Y'all, this book is so good. This lady crazy. <laughs> Get you some skin goodies, period. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. Y'all, we have to take a step back sometimes from the fashion stuff because I'm run out of ideas. <laughs> And I also don't want every single video on my channel to be about fashion. Like I want to start branching out and doing other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Which I do sometimes, but not enough. So this is the last week of January. I just wanted to share products that I have been loving this month and probably last month and the month before that too. So let's get into the products. I'm going to start with my beauty favorites. It's not too many, but I do want to mention this is the Whipped Sugar Scrub from Skin Goody Skin Care, period. My man's mom has her own skincare line, skincare company. It's Skin Goodies. I'm obsessed literally with the shea butter she makes. She makes it herself at home. Even before she started doing this, I was a shea butter person, but now I won't get it anywhere else but from her. I really, really love it. This is the Mango Peach Bellini scent. It smells really, really good. And it is whipped. Literally, I'm obsessed. I go through the little container so fast. I put this on and wake up the next morning still moisturized. <laughs> like, I love this stuff. It always smells good. It's a good price. And I also have a oil from her. This is the herbal oil for your hair, body, and nails. I got this when she had a little pop-up shop. She's infuses it with rose petals and stuff. And it's peppermint in it too so it's like chewing gum for your scalp <laughs> i use this i won't say every morning but often i do keep my hair a little shiny so yes she has other products oil she's got shea butter she does bath salts i believe she has perfume as well i will leave her instagram and her email down below y'all hit her up not only is it a small business it is a small black owned business and it is a black woman owned business so definitely support hit her up to our Alexa central and get you some skin goodies period so lately i have been going through this little thing with my hair it is long i've been able to keep the length but over time it has been thinning y'all like i'm gonna insert a picture of what it looked like in the beginning of 2020 that was um after blow drying it and I'm gonna just say right now, it does not look like that anymore. After blow drying it, it has thinned. Don't know what's going on, but I started taking some gummies with biotin in it. I started this back in November. They're hair, skin, and nails gummies. Biggest difference I've seen since November is definitely in my nails. My natural nails have become super strong. They're in my favorites because they taste good. They're not a pill you have to swallow. It's easy to take them every day. Take to a day and they literally taste like candy and this is not sponsored of course but i have no problem taking them every day because they taste like candy next i'm going to get into my favorite bath and body works products i mentioned in a different video that I ain't no shame in my game i get perfume from bath and body works not the body mist the actual perfume and i always get these sizes to test first so this is open sky y'all this smells so good but i don't even know if they have this on a full-size perfume because i can never find it unless my bath and body works is just trash and always sold out i don't know but it smells so clean, but then it has like a undertones of like some kind of berry, I think. But, and it also smells a little lavender-ish. Yeah, I don't know, but it smells so good, so me. And I really hope I can find an actual size perfume in this because it is literally one of my favorites. I had that same mini size in Pure Wonder. And I went on ahead and got the full size perfume. This is one of my favorites as well. It smells so so good, so light and feminine and a little floral. Highly, highly recommend those two scents from Bath & Body Works. They're not cheap, but they're also not like super, super expensive either. They're just 
the right price. I think they're around $40, $50. So if you're looking for an affordable perfume option, definitely check out Bath & Body Works Pure Wonder and Open Sky. Then I've got some room sprays, y'all. I am obsessed with like smell good stuff. Like I need plugins, air freshener, room spray candles all that it's just required around me like i cannot i will instantly get irritated if i don't smell something good <laughs> at all times so my two favorite right now are laundry day and white t-shirt i love both of them but if i had to choose one gun to my head it would be white t-shirt this smells so good it's just it's so clean and like honestly what you would expect a white t-shirt to smell like like that's what it smells like they did a really good job. I'm gonna put the notes of what exactly it is on screen. And Laundry Day also smells bomb. I have an obsession with like laundry and linen smells. I don't know what it is. Again, I'll put the notes on exactly what it is on screen. But yes, these room sprays are so bomb and they're super, super concentrated. So it's not like air freshener, you spray the whole entire room and then you need some more in 20 minutes. Two pumps and you're good for the rest of the day. You'll smell it into the next day, actually. And then lastly, from Bath & Body Works, a candle. I really wish they had this in a three wick, but they don't. But I'll settle for the, the one wick because it smells that good. Sun-drenched linen. Again, linen, y'all. I don't know what it is with me, but linen and laundry, yes, anything. This is the best... Mm, Behind Mahogany Teak Wood, this is the best smelling candle that Bath & Body Works has. So good, literally smells like laundry, but it's like bright laundry. Um, I'm gonna put the notes on screen for this as well because the one wicks never have them. Bomb. They outdid themselves with that. So then I will let y'all know what I have been wearing this month. My go-tos first is the Black Tyson Sweatsuit. Y'all, I love a good sweatsuit, especially in this weather, because you can layer over it and still look cute. They're thick and warm. The quality is bomb. They're super easy. I don't have to spend so much time trying to find an outfit. I just throw on a sweatsuit, and the black one is always my go-to because it literally goes with everything. Honestly, I wear it so much. So I highly, highly recommend the Tyson sweatsuit. This is from Fashion Nova Men. Ladies, don't be afraid of the men's section. We can rock men's clothes too, period. Next one is this champion sweater from ASOS. This is a small, but it honestly fits like a, kind of like a large. I love this sweater. The quality is A1. It is so thick and so warm. Y'all, I have to wear red every day to work. So I try not to wear it when I'm not at work, but I can't help it because I just love it so much. Actually, I just wore it today. I went to go run my little errands today. I wore a turtleneck under this and I was so warm and I wore a coat over that too. It's been super cold, but thankful for this, I was straight. Love, love, love that sweater. Highly, highly recommend it. I'll link it below if it's still in stock on ASOS. And shoe that I have been loving is the Pollen Air Jordan 1 Bomb. I think this is top five in my collection right now. Besides my Air Force Ones and my um, work shoes, I have only worn this shoe this month. The black sweatsuit and these, that's literally, I've worn that countless number of times this month. Like, and I ain't got no shame to admit that. They're so easy just to throw on and take off. Without trying, you're just gonna look bomb. I got them at SneakerCon Chicago. I will link that vlog down below if you have not seen it yet. Since I wear them so much, I kind of want to put them up for a minute and not wear them for a while. But knowing me, I'm gonna still pull them out. Two of my last favorites are just random. This is my planner that I use right now. It's the Erin Condren Life Planner. Y'all, oh my God, I am obsessed with this thing. I am a planner girl, okay? I'm type, if I lose my planner, I would literally die. <laughs> like, I would not be able to live without this. Got everything in here, about my money, my little calendar. I do my YouTube stuff in here. My personal life outside of social media. My whole life is in here. Like, this is my little daily to-do list. She really did a really good job with this planner my little to-do list from today Let's see how i'm doing on that mm. i'm supposed to take pictures today but am i gonna do that no because i don't feel like it i would highly highly recommend if you are into planners and you are still a little late on getting one would highly recommend the Erin Condren Life Planner. I just wanted to share since, you know what I'm saying, I'm sharing my favorite stuff, what I'm reading right now. 
just one look by who is this lindsey cameron y'all this book is so good this lady crazy <laughs> She works for a temp agency that was hired by this law firm and basically they're going through documents for part of a big case blah 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 they have to sort through them if they're relevant or irrelevant so she came across some personal emails from the ceo of the law firm y'all she going through all his emails and she's starting to stalk this man <laughs> right now i am at the part she's going through his desk at work <laughs> and she didn't stole this man's epi pen <laughs> she going through his mail all that so i am so eager to find out how it's gonna end we don't care let me tell you, right, let me <laughs> so if you're a reader just one look my lindsey cameron y'all this is a good book it's got me hooked and i got it from barnes and noble all right y'all that was it for today's video a little venture away from the fashion content of course we're gonna get back to that but i definitely wanted to take a slight break from that hope y'all enjoyed i will leave links to everything that i mentioned let me know what products you have been obsessed with in january i am all ears also let me know what you want to see from me in the month of february comment something else if you would like like if you liked it definitely subscribe though and i will see y'all in the next one I'm a